It's 5 a.m. in one of Germany's biggest cities, and photographer Jens Rika is looking for motifs. There's not a soul at the daily market in Munich, the Viktualienmarkt. That's rare. And that's the time when Rika can pursue his craft undisturbed. In just a few hours, the market will be crowded with people. I'm interested in well-known locations and cities in and of themselves, showing well-known busy places free of people. The atmosphere is different then, and I can get a more distinct impression of the place. When I see the photograph of the location devoid of people, then I can perceive it differently. I feel more liberated again. An hour later, Rika's next stop is a square just 100 meters away, the Marienplatz. At 6 a.m., there's no trace of the one and a half million people who live in the southern German city. I'd like to give people a different way to look at things, to teach them a different way to see, so that they can rediscover something familiar. And I hope they'll have fun with it. Another site, the Königsplatz, is a popular evening venue for concerts and outdoor cinema. During the day, it's a place where students meet and greet. At 7 in the morning, Rika nearly has it all to himself. He took these pictures of an empty Salzburg, Austria, three years ago. Those works were published in a 160-page album called Silent Space Salzburg. I just like the place, and Salzburg has naturally a certain type of baroque kitschiness that's super for a photography project, because it's very photogenic. We move on to Regensburg, which is about 120 kilometers north of Munich. This is where Jens Rieke lives and works. Born in Kassel in 1962, Rika long worked as a commercial photographer before he got into the arts. For him, the silent space project has allowed him to live the dream of being an artist. Many photographers are fascinated by empty cities. This here is Venice. German photographer Peter Knaup took black and white pictures of the Italian city and published the collection in a book entitled Stilles Venedig, Silent Venice. Swiss photographer Irena Kung's series, Invisible Cities, depicts well-known buildings in a way that few have seen before, outside of an urban context. Rika says it's all about focusing and noticing what's important. He believes many people have to learn to see precisely again. He wants to start a photography school to teach this concept. I'd like to create a school of seeing. Of course, I teach the technical aspects as well. But above all, I'd like people to see serenely and clearly. At a time when we're flooded with stimulation, with the internet and always being reachable and all that goes with it, quite a bit of awareness somehow gets lost. Jens Rika will be getting up early for quite a while yet to capture images that few people ever get to see.